Hi, my name is Laura Asco. I'm the Ag Ed Farm Manager with Metro Parks of Butler County. And today we're going to be exploring Chris Home Metro Park Woodsdale area, which is located at 1917 Woodsdale Road, Trenton, Ohio 45067. This park has a lot to offer because it has many different habitats ranging from open fields to wetlands to even woods that borders along the Great Miami River. But today's topic is going to be about the state nature symbols and Woodsdale has an abundance of our state tree. Does anybody know what it is? It's called the Ohio Buckeye. So why don't we go out on the trail and see if we can find some. Now as you'll notice I have my mask but I'm wearing it around my neck right now because there isn't anybody around with me. But if I do come across a friend out on the trail I will put my mask on and of course keep my six foot social distancing apart. All right let's go see if we can find some Buckeye trees. Now let's be honest, when you hear the word buckeye, what is the first vision that comes to your mind? Is it the delicious chocolate and peanut butter round balls that we eat? Or maybe the mascot for OSU? Or how about the state tree of Ohio? Well, we're gonna focus on Aeschylus glabra, our native Ohio buckeye tree. It's considered an understory tree in the forest, but can grow up to 50 feet with the right conditions. And Woodsdale has these conditions because buckeyes love to grow in deep, well-drained, moist soil. The easiest way to recognize these trees is with the five palmately compound leaves. Think of your palm like your hand and the leaves all come from the center of it. Another easy way to ID this tree during late spring is this large panicle shaped white, yellow, orange, greenish looking flowers. And if you look closely, the stamens are actually longer than the petals. If it's late summer, you might get lucky and see the fruits that cover the brown shiny nut called the buckeye. But do not eat these nuts or any other part of the tree because it is very toxic. Now, there are several stories about how the buckeye got its name. One of the shortest ones is that the nut looks like the eye of a buck, which is of course a male deer. The Native Americans blanched the nuts extracting tannic acid for use in making leather. The buckeye tree wood is excellent for carving and in the past was used for artificial limbs. There are several other Ohio State natural symbols that occur in our parks throughout Metro Parks of Butler County. So don't forget to check out the PDF link on this post to see if you can find the other natural symbols. Our next log off shut down and get outside topic is about the infamous poison ivy plant and how it's a valuable resource to much of our wildlife even though many humans have a bad reaction to it. Thanks very much.